Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, you know, we're, we've been walking through the Beatitudes uh, these last couple of weeks, and they are so beautiful right up until you get to verses 10 through 12. Uh, and then it gets kind of gritty and painful. So let me just read these if you're not familiar with them. Jesus says, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Jesus said, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. Blessed are those who are, are reviled and persecuted and slandered for Jesus sake. And he tells us rejoice and be glad. Really? We're supposed to do that. Yes, we are. If you want to live a blessed life, this is part of it. This is so hard for us to hear because we don't see the world from God's perspective. We see the world from our self-centered, selfish perspective that wants comfort and safety and, you know, uh, health all the time. And so we think about persecution and, and people attacking us and slandering us as a bad thing. And Jesus says, hey, you know what? This is part of the path to blessing. And that challenges us at the very center of our soul and the way that we think about life. And, and I want that to challenge you because what God's interested in is not your comfort and health and safety. God is interested in the advancement of the kingdom of God. That, that's what God is interested in. Uh, God doesn't worry about our comfort, health, and safety because he knows that heaven is prepared for us and, and we're going to live in a place where there's no more suffering, sorrow, dying, or pain one day so we don't have to worry about what we go through here. So will you embrace the idea of suffering for Jesus? I say the idea because we're not suffering for Jesus right now, but will you embrace that it is a blessing to suffer for Jesus? And when suffering comes to you, that, that you will not get angry, upset, and accusative toward God, but you will rejoice and be glad? That, that's what the apostles did. In Acts 4 and 5, it said they rejoiced that they were worthy to suffer for the name of Jesus. That's what the Apostle Paul did. He said in Romans 8, I do not consider this present suffering worth comparing to the glory that will be revealed in us in Christ Jesus. That's what the Apostle Peter did. He, he said, look, for this we are called, this we are chosen, that we should follow in the steps of Jesus. In the steps of Jesus is the steps of persecution and suffering, knowing that the victory lies ahead of us and not in this moment. Uh, they're not easy words to hear, but hear them again. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Uh, are you willing to let God change your attitude and outlook on the subject of persecution? Uh, if you will, you'll be blessed. Have a great day, Calvary.